Hello class, let's look at week two assignments for uh, CIT 15, Computer Concepts. I'm doing the overview right now. Second link is actually a link to your, your ebook for uh, Technology in Action, 18th edition. And I am going to go and start it up, Tech in Action, 18th E. And let's see, let's go to the table of contents and make sure I'm in chapter one. Let's start around here. And you'll see some of the terms underlined. And if you click on them, you'll get a, a deeper definition for some, some of these terms, like social media. All right. And let's go to crisis mapping. Let's see what that says. A tool that collects information from emails, text messages, blog posts, tweets, and maps them, making the information publicly and available instantaneously. Isn't that cool? All right, so that's crisis mapping. That's what that is. Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> let me let me jump out of the ebook. Let me go. Let me go back to. Uh, and I'm. I have the tabs all open. Let me go back to uh, uh, Canvas. Um, let's now. This is. These are the audio powerpoints, which is a nice way to get an overview of the chapter, and have it read to you, which is kind of handy. This is the study guide. I want to open one up. And let's look at the first question. Uh, and these these are all the questions I can ask you for chapter one. All right, there's how many are there? Uh, there are 57, it looks like, and I'm only going to ask you 25. But the first one, tool that gathers information from sources such as emails, text messages, tweets, and makes the information instantly and publicly available. Well, you just saw that as crisis mapping. So you, there you, you got one. So if you read those terms that are highlighted, you kind of pay close attention to them. You'll find that they are answers to test questions. I think, I think you'll find that handy. So uh, that is the study guide, and that's for you to work on. Um, this is an extra credit exercise. You'll need to watch a couple of videos if you choose to do it. All right, one and two. And then you'll take a quiz, just five questions. It's extra credit. I, th I think you'll like it on DEI. I'd spell it out, but that's one of the test questions. What does it stand for? So I'll let you look at it. And this is now we're getting into the My T Lab section. And this is week two. So we're going to work on Windows 10. There's trainings and assessments. So let me get let me go ahead and get into it. I'm already logged into my T Lab somewhere right here. I think. No? How about here? Here's my T Lab. I have too many links up here already, it looks like. Um, and you notice that I've I've got everything visible to you in a week format, though they're not accessible until you know we're into week two. That is, if you were to go into the Windows 10 training beforehand, that's going to ask you for a password. That will be taken off when we're in week two. So let's go into the training for Windows 10 so you can see it. And it's going to open up a window and show you the tasks that are included for Windows 10. We'll start with that. I'm going to maximize my screen. And you can go through this and see it looks like there's 19 questions. So I think there's I think there's actually 26 tasks. And the first one is signing in the Windows 10. So let's let's launch it. Let's go into it. Again, you're going to get a, a pop-up window. So knowing that, you need to make sure the pop-ups are off. And if you need help with that, that's why you have the My T Lab tech support. So the first task, and I, I'm going to maximize this screen, it just makes it easier. And I have a wide aspect screen, so the instructions are on the right. If my screen was less wide, if it was a little taller, then these instructions would show up on the, on the bottom of the screen. So the first thing is for me, and it's highlighted in kind of a, a deep blue, is type in my IT lab 1234 is the password right in here. All right, so I would, well, let's say I don't know how to do it. Then I can come down to the learning aids, and I can, I could practice or watch a video. I usually watch when I'm doing it, and I, I hit play, and, I, and it'll walk me through how to log into Windows 10 in this case, and I don't think you'll find it hard, so I'm just going to do it. My, my T, uh, I typed it wrong. I started out the wrong way. My IT lab, one, two, three, four. I was going to type myTLab.com. Okay, I did the password right, so I'm in. Uh, question complete. Now I go to question two and display the home page of the settings window, right? So it wants me to do that. Now, if I don't know how to do it, again, I'll do the learning aids. When I'm done with all these tasks, and you can see them all here under View All, uh, I think it shows 26 of them, right? When I'm done with all these tasks, then I'll submit it for grading. If I'm working on it, I didn't, I'm not going to get it finished in the, the time I gave myself to work on it. I'll save for later 
and I'll come back to it. And I'll continue where I left off. Uh, this is due when? 9 o'clock Saturday. All the stuff's due 9 o'clock Saturday except for finals week, and that's that's Tuesday. So um, I'll finish it, and then I'll submit it. I'm not going to get a high score here. I just did one out of, in this case, 26. <laughs> I got one point. Um, if you do all of the tasks, you'll get 100 points. So, and that's that's the goal here, right? Uh, 10 points per question. So I could review what I did here, and I'll go ahead and click on it, and it'll tell me, stand by, what did I do? And I think you'll find this handy. I did this one correct. I looked at it. Um, I can click here under Actions and look at Methods. I, it's like methods to complete. What are the different methods to get through this? And you see, it tells me these are things I could do uh, different ways, keyboard one, one, keyboard two, keyboard three, different ways to complete this one task. There's really not a mouse action for this. It's all keyboard. I haven't tried the others, but I could click on it. Mm hmm. What are the methods to complete for that one? Oh, okay. There's keyboard. There's right clicking. There's menu. Other. There's keyboard. There's Oh, multiple multiple ways to complete this task you know so um, on the ribbon using a ribbon bar all kinds of ways to complete the task so this is how you can see under the action you can see the methods to finish something and you know kind of get through the exercise make some notes copy and paste things into a word doc and you got that to help you so um, I will I will stop there I'll go to the assignments again and I will refresh the page and I was doing this, Windows 10 training. When you're do with, done with that in week two, then you go into the assessment and you'll be asked, for example, for question one, sign into using the password, and it'll be slightly different, but you won't have learning aids. So if you get, if you get to a question, you're not sure how to finish it, because maybe you did the training two or three days earlier and you forgot, just save your, save your assessment and go back to the training and relearn how to do that task. Then when you're done, submit the training because you can submit it 99 times. The scores don't count. You just get to see what they are. And then go into your assessment and, and, and finish the task, right? Just go ahead and finish it. So that is the My IT Lab section. I think, you'll, I think you'll find it handy. Let me get out of this and go back to week two. That's it. That's week, that's week two. Uh, you've got a chapter in uh, Tech in Action. You got the narrated or audio PowerPoints. You have the actual questions, the study guide to help you, an extra credit assignment, which I don't give during quiz weeks. I mean, you'll have a quiz week in week eight, week eight I think. Um, and then um, my T-Lab. So uh, give yourself enough time because the training and assessment will take a little bit of time. And that is it. So if you have questions, let me hear from you, email or, you know, office hours. And uh, good luck. All right. Bye for now.